Why is this recorded? We've read this sort of thing many times, most of us. But if you're, if you're receiving Luke's account for the first time, and you're reading it for the first time, what do these verses do? They put you in a position of making a choice, don't they? Who's right? Who is to be believed? Here is Jesus driving people out of the temple. Now taking it as his own pulpit and he's teaching there every day. And at the very time he's doing this, you have the religious leaders of the Jews saying he is, he is an imposter and they're looking for a way to kill him. And you have the people sitting in the middle of this whose testimony by their own by their own judgment at first, by their own listening, is no one has ever spoken like this one has. Who's right? And what you clearly see in the verses is you can't stand in the middle, can you? If Jesus is who He claims to be, then He is God in human flesh. He is Israel's true King. He deserves your full, wholehearted worship and allegiance. You must trust in Him and follow Him to be saved. If he is not who he claims to be, dear ones, he is not a good man, he is not a good teacher, he is not a good example, he is a liar or a lunatic. Those are the only choices you have. Right? Think about the men in our, within our lifetime who have claimed to be some kind of Messiah. Clearly they are not. Think about men like David Koresh or others like him. What were they? Were they good people? No, they were dangerous people. So the question is, is Jesus some zealot who's dangerous and to be repudiated and murdered, killed? Or is he someone to be loved, trusted in, and then followed? And do you know what? That exact same choice is set before you and before me today. Who do we say Jesus is? And if we say the Son of God, if we say the Son of God, then is he to be followed? Are we just sermon lovers? Or do we love the Savior? Do we, do we, do we come here just to be, you know, go through the motions of worship, be religious, maybe even gain some sort of intellectual satisfaction through some kind of teaching? Or do we come here to worship the one who has saved our souls and to be equipped we might follow Him and live for Him and serve Him in this world. Who is He? Who are you really? And why are you here? That's what's set before us in these verses. And I exhort you with all my heart to recognize that Jesus is the Son of God. He's the only Savior given to men. He died on a cross as a sin sacrifice for people just like us. He's been raised from the dead. He's ascended into heaven. He is coming again. And God extends to you His grace and mercy in His Son. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved this day. Trust Him. Trust Him.